Okay, so uh, my presentation uh, is, um, the title is uh, HTTP Streaming Over Apache Pulsar. And uh, my name is Ming Lu. I'm from uh, Data Stacks. I work on the uh, streaming engineering team. So we're building um, a SaaS, a SaaS uh, offering for, for Apache Pulsar. So the agenda for this, let's go to the agenda. Yeah. So into the presentation mode. So the agenda for this is we go through some basic um, concept or terminology of, you know, uh, about message queuing and um, uh, streaming. And we're going to spend some time talk about Apache Pulsar uh, because this is the, this is the hard call. This is the, um, um, the core of, of, uh, of this topic. And what do we build on is using Apache Pulsar. Uh, Apache Pulsar does, does all the heavy lifting uh, for us. And the last way I'm going to touch on the the topic of the of of the day, which is how do we send uh, HTTP over Pulsar? Okay, so the uh, the message in the in the message queuing and the streaming space, there are two concepts. I mean, ba very basic concept is message queue and a stream and uh, and message streaming. Um, how to process uh, messages in a continuous format? So message queue is is quite straightforward. Just like first thing first out, you know, um, queue. You once you send a message to a, a to a queue, it's a, it's a, it's like just like a linear log, and the message will be uh, consumed uh, off in the in the in the order fashion. And uh, the message streaming just allow the message it can be can be um, can be can be reprocessed over and over again. And there's some message exchange pattern, like how do we consume messages? Uh, as we talk about, you know, the queue. Um, usually, the queue is a lot of, like single single consumer. But if we have uh, multiple consumers to increase our processing uh, throughput, there's work queues. To allow like competing consumers, we have multiple consumers to uh, to read off the read off the queue to process the messages, and there's another uh, uh, common uh, pattern for message for message and uh, for for message queue is is event driven uh, uh, architecture. So like event sourcing, right? So so and all the so so we use message queue to keep track the state of 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 a, the state of an object. So that's event. So the event is is immutable. So once uh, once the event occurred, it will be pushed to the uh, to the queue. So we can replay that. We can track the uh, uh, the the event evolution of the, of this object or this uh, um, uh, or something you monitor. And uh, so event uh, this uh, message queue is also popular in macro uh, macro service because macro services itself is is uh, is pretty much stateless and uh, and the the message bus or message queue can be you know uh, track the state also for asynchronous communication um, since we we'll talk about event like event driven architecture also the uh, the work queue and uh, the message um, in 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 any in, in most Message system, there's a there's a message retention, right? And once the message is being processed, how do we keep the message? How long are we, we're going to keep the message? Then we can replay the message to process it over again, uh, uh, over and over again. So this is like common use case for machine learning AI type of uh, a scenario. And uh, and also like that, this is when you process uh, when you when you process the message, how long the message can be can be kept. So what what if for the messages they they haven't been processed, right? So there's also a timing component to, to govern that uh, lifecycle of the message. Like both like uh, uh, Apache Kafka and uh, Apache uh, Pulsar has has that concept, you know, um, how long this message can be kept I mean, before the message is being processed, right? It's governed by the TTL. Um, um, there's another common uh, concept is, is, is PubSub. So, once you have a message, like how do you publish and subscribe to a uh, publish message and subscribe a message, and uh, the subscription of message usually has this um, concept of uh, tracking uh, which message you have been processed, right? And depends on which product you use. And the pulsar they use uh, this, this concept of a cursor uh, to keep the uh, the message consumption versus Kafka they use something called offset, and uh, and the message streaming is you know once we um, um, 
So message streaming enables you enables us to process message over and over again, and there's there's a there's a um, evolution from so we're moving from the batch processing to a streaming processing, right? There's a lot of application, um, you know, moving towards that, uh, uh, you know, uh, this evolution. So the batch processing is when you when you have uh, high volume of message, and how do you Process message in a in a batch, right? So you, either you spec either you specify uh, how many messages you process, or, uh, you know you are ready to receive the client ready to receive, and uh, or there's a there's a timeout, right? I process message every five minutes, or I process you know every a hundred messages, and uh, while the streaming is another step up, um, uh, is uh, allow the message to be continuously flow into your application, right? Um, some other you know use case of uh, streaming is high volume messages. You have process logs and metrics. How do you stream those? There are a lot of uh, uh, the, the the metrics, the monitoring applications, uh, the modern monitoring applications are building on top of high streaming, um, high volume streaming uh, messaging system like Kafka, like Pulsar. Okay, so what is the what is Apache Pulse? Right, this is something we build on. You know, uh, this project built on top of. So Apache Pulse is uh, is uh, is open source. It actually the top level Apache project. It was introduced about about like nine to ten years ago in uh, Yahoo. It gradually you know um, uh, graduated to the uh, to the uh, to the top level project. It was introduced in in uh, 2016, about five years ago, into into uh, into Apache, and uh, it is a, a distributed pub sub messaging system. So it has all the features like high throughput, uh, low latency. We're talking about like uh, uh, low single digit uh, millisecond latency, and um, also. Yes, it's highly scalable because it has advantage over other uh, messaging system. It separates compute versus storage, and again, you know, it accommodates the uh, the two use cases we we touched early on, which is the streaming and the message queuing. And we're going to briefly talk about the uh, the components in 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 Apache Pulsar. And uh, the components, the the bare bone component, the bare bone minimum components are the broker, which serves the re request, uh, serves the re serves the request from the producer when somebody sends a message, also serves the request when somebody consumes the message. That's the broker, but the broker itself can be stateless, so it does not um, uh, keep the uh, keep the message. The, actually, the message is stored in the in the in the backend uh, database. Is called a bookkeeper, a bookie. So bookkeeper is another uh, Apache project. It, it provides, um, so it manages uh, a data in the in the linear log, right? In, in the manager ledger fashion. So a ledger, you can view the ledger, is is a, is a, is an immutable linear log. So everything you written to the log cannot be modified. It will be uh, read only, and uh, so bookkeeper does. Um, it has the feature try to you know uh, offers low latency and uh, and uh, and high throughput, and uh, we're not going to talk about this this uh, this project. But um, the, how Pulsar saves the the message is is all based on uh, Bookkeeper, and uh, so just like other. Uh, Many other Apache projects. So Pulsar use Zookeeper uh, to do coordination to keep the metadata. So one metadata is where the data store, right? So when a request comes into broker, say, you know, I need, uh, you know, talk to this topic. I need, I need to get this message. Uh, where I can find it? All these information are uh, are kept in the in the in a Zookeeper. So there are some other additional features allow Pulsar to 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 integrate with the rest of uh, the ecosystem, you know, like functions that that's that that enables um, like streaming processing. So functions just like you know lambda lambda uh, lambda uh, style uh, serverless computing. Yeah, so so here's the architecture of the uh, of the of the pulsar. I think we 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 touched on this earlier, like separate of compute and storage, 
and uh, the zookeeper holds the metadata and uh, so it does the coordination right uh, and um, bookkeeper is stateless in in all the all the requests all the serving all the all the uh, all the all serving the request send the data is all through bookkeeper sorry it's sent uh, uh, through through the, through the broker and the bookkeeper just uh, just the storage yep so we talk about you know the how, how data is being being stored the, the, the data stored is in a like log type of fashion and uh, and uh, and it's it's uh, it is immutable let's move to next so one thing I, th I think it's interesting to 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 explain here is the is the message pub sub um, concept uh, because in the in the in the in the HTTP component we do about, we build on top also preserve that uh, that that concept so we have as a as under and the customer and the user they will write a publish uh, a, a, a producer and a consumer basically a producer produced the message consumer consumes the message and um, this also decouples uh, the publisher and the subscriber so this is a, like asynchronous a typical asynchronous uh, um, uh, a, a messaging system and um, and uh, the message the message sent produced or sent by the producer is sent to a topic so topic that correlates that maps to the concept we talked about earlier the log is is a, is a, is a, is an immutable linear queue so uh, a linear um, a log and a message is sent to the topic once uh, the message is commit to flush to the disk that is immutable and and uh, and it cannot be deleted cannot be modified and uh, you have to you know if if uh, if if this message um, uh, contains some information needs to be updated, you have to send another message. You know, right? Um, so everything is is organized in the in you know in this concept called called a topic, and a topic a single topic is served by a broker. A topic cannot be served by multiple a broker. So so you can see topic is is a uh, is abstract concept will 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 serve by sing with a single broker, and the publisher sends to the topic. Sends to the broker. The broker writes to the to the topic or commits to the ask the uh, the uh, the bookkeeper commits to the to the disk. When somebody wants to consume that message, usually you know they use a consumer. So the consumer will subscribe to a to a to a topic and uh, read that topic or re read a message off the topic. Uh, so you can see there's two different um, consumption pattern here. So one is the, on the on the first on the on the top on the top uh, diagram is there's multiple publisher publish the message to a to a topic so a, a topic can accommodate like uh, multiple publishers and uh, and at the same time you know you can have different subscriber different consumer using different subscriptions to consume um, the same set of of messages right so uh, so there are three messages being produced and three messages being received. Are consumed by three different subscriptions. Uh, diagram. The second diagram is uh, the, 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 the second diagram is like we call the shared subscription. So uh, we have um, the same the, the same number of messages, the same number of uh, publishers publish three messages, but each consumer only uh, consumes one message because they share the same sub sub subscription. So uh, by default, this this topic, the broker will take. Uh, round the robin fashion send uh, messages to each uh, to each consumer okay. um yep so we earlier we talk we talk about subscription so and the sub subscription is used uh, to consume messages the benefit of subscription is it's like a pointer, you know, like 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 your pointer in C, and uh, it points to uh, where the message is being consumed, right? So uh, this allows we have multiple consumers, we have different different consuming pattern, diff different subscription patterns to con to consume the message uh, without duplicate the physical message. So everyone is using, um, you know, a cursor, right? A subscription is a cursor, is a pointer, so pointing to this linear log 
to keep track and you know, where you have consumed the message. And uh, there's also um, an administrative API. You can just play with the subscription, right? You can skip the message. You can replay, rewind. You know, all these uh, <clears throat> um, the messages. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, uh, yeah, since we have this subscription uh, concept, there's there's different um, type of subscription model we support in Pulsa, and um, and uh, all these, uh, most of these, uh, like the four models can be mapped into our um, HTTP uh, consumption. No, later on. So I need to explain them. Here is, so first we have the exclusive subscription. So that means only one consumer, only one consumer has that subscription can subscribe. So uh, on the diagram, you can see this, the top. So someone can create an exclusive subscription against this topic and only A1, this only one consumer can consume. The second, if you create another consumer with the same subscription name uh, with exclusive type, and you will get rejected by by the broker. And the shared subscription is also a common um, pattern, the common subscription model that uh, maps to what we talk about the worker queue. So, like competing, uh, like com uh, like competing worker queue, right? So you have uh, one um, topic. So there's lots of messages, and you have multiple consumers uh, will read off this message process them independently. And, uh, and with the same subscription name and the the, uh, the, the, sh the sh shared type, and the other um, the other um, type is fill over. So fill over is you know you have two subscription uh, two two consumers against the, using this one subscription name, and if the first one failed. It will fail, fail over to the to the second one. So first one fail means if the broker cannot send to a lose contact, uh, lost contact to the to the first uh, first uh, uh, first consumer. So there's also key shared subscription. So basically, uh, key shared because the the issue with the shared subscription is the message order cannot be maintained because if you have exclusive subscription, so the other message will send to one consumer, so you will re receive all the message in order. But in a shared subscription, is your your message order cannot be maintained. So um, the benefit of key shared is if you send a message with the same key, uh, they will always hash to against the uh, send them to the the same uh, consumer. So as long as you have the same key, the message. And under that same key, the message order will be, will be maintained. So key is like a metadata will be provided as a as a message property. So when you send a message, the message has a payload, the message has some some uh, uh, some metadata like a message ID, message property is 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 one area you can provide a key name value pair and uh, and you can use a key in a message property. And um, I also take a screenshot of of. Um, um, our uh, our SaaS offering, so we have so uh, you can under under our uh, the, the the top can click the subscription. It it reviews what is the subscription type and also how many how many consumers are under this subscription. Also, there's a name subscription name. So and Impulsa also provide the stats against each uh, each subscription. Yeah, yeah. Um, he, so here, just just a, 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 a comparison about different subscription um, model and versus you know um, the the message order, whether they are guaranteed or the processing uh, guarantees, right? So um, so the exclusive uh, model, which is default, if you do not, uh, if you if you create a subscription, uh, uh, if you create a consumer. Uh, the de will default to the exclusive subscription mod, uh, um, uh, mode, and um, and the other is obvious is 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 guaranteed. Also, the failover is also guaranteed. Um, but uh, as we explained earlier, the the not guaranteed is the shared subscription, right? Because it goes uh, round robin fashion, and it may you know may uh, um, yeah, it does not guarantee. So. Um, 
the other thing is uh, Pulsar has this concept called dead, uh, dead letter queue. So if I keep on, if the brokers keep on sending you uh, a sending consumer a message, the message cannot be acknowledged, cannot, broker cannot confirm the message has been received or acknowledged by the, uh, um, by the, uh, by the uh, consumer. Uh, you can set a max retry number. So once that is uh, is met, it'll be sent to a data, that, that letter queue. So your message will not get lost, right? So um, so this is a type of use case will be uh, useful for um, um, retry, right? So uh, so for the for the recover for the recoverable failure re retry. So if if you think there's a business logic in your application, you want to retry, and usually you will send them to a, to a, to a dead letter queue, but if it's not as unrecoverable, then uh, it, there's no point to send to a dead letter queue. And uh, I think there's uh, one thing interesting to talk about is the processing guarantee. So the processing guarantee is uh, is uh, is like uh, how many times will guarantee to be to be to be delivered, right? Um, the the best scenario was exactly once. So anything exactly once is is I think is uh, the industry is aim, aim, aiming for, but uh, I think that this this terminology has been um, has been quite like, abused. Um, if you read carefully, there always someone will put a lot of uh, fine prints to explain what exactly. Uh, once mean right, and uh, I think I think the, there there's some article about a, what Pulsar can claims this effective effective once, and uh, for the for the fail over and the shared and the, and the rest of just at least once right. Because message can be uh, there there are, there are a chance message will be will be redelivered right, um, and, and Pulsar is is working towards that. You know, once once we have different like a transaction implemented, uh, I, I think. The, the whole industry is working towards the, the exact ones. Uh, I think what, what's interesting is if you think about um, TCP, I mean, the underlying protocol, so even TCP uh, is, um, is at least once, uh, is, is at least once delivery, exact once processing, right? So uh, even TCP has, is, is not able to um, claim that, you know, that's the that's the highest trophy for the for the for the for the exact ones, um, but again, the messaging exact ones is is a little bit different than the, than the than the protocol level exact ones. Um, okay, let's move on. Okay, so yeah, I, I think there's a lot of uh, uh, material here. We talk about like. ACNAC and uh, the redelivery. The whole idea is, is uh, the when a message is delivered to to a uh, a consumer, the consumer needs to acknowledge it, right? If the, the consumer does not acknowledge it, the message will get redelivered. That's the that's the uh, that's the message because you guys need to get because there's way too much information here. There's NAC, so the NAC is like it can can, can negatively. Act the message, or there's a timeout, and then the broker will redeliver. But uh, I think in this talk, I think all we need to get is just uh, when the con when the broker send you a message, uh, you need to act the message, and uh, if you don't act, will be redelivered. You know, within the, the, there's a timeout uh, period. Okay. Um, so we talk about the message uh, um, consumption patterns, sub 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 subscription patterns. The one thing um, before we explain the why we need um, an HTTP interface for Pulsar is we need to look at the native Pulsar protocol. Uh, first of all, the Pulsar protocol is uh, is a custom as a custom binary protocol. It's um, it, the protocol is between uh, the producer and the broker. It's at the TCP level, and uh, it 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 and there it has command. So the command is uh, is uh, is is they're using uh, proto buff to build a to build a command, and um, and the command. So there are command with payload, also command without payload. So you can also ping each other. So this is quite complex, uh, complicated, uh, um, a complex. Protocol, so the client, the client, and uh, 
and uh, um, and the broker is uh, is is all integrated. The client is not a I would call it a thick client, right? So it has a lot of intelligence in the client. So for example, uh, one thing the client would do is client can build encryption, right? There's an end-to-end -end encryption, means the, the, the producer will encrypt your message and only the consumer can decrypt it. Even the post, even the, the, the post are like the broker, the bookkeeper, they don't have the key to, 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 to decrypt your message. So all these intelligence uh, cries for a heavy, a thick client. Um, that means, you know, not every language has the luxury to implement, right? I don't think that problem exists in POSA. That problem also exists in, in, uh, in other uh, type of, in other, like particularly Kafka too, right? So Kafka. So, so Kafka doesn't have all the, all the choice of language. The, the mostly uh, is, you know, uh, they have, they have implemented the C-based or uh, Java-based, actually C-based uh, uh, library, and other languages write a wrapper on it, right? It's calling uh, the C, C library. And I think this diagram just explains how complex the, the native, uh, the native uh, Pulsar protocol is. And for example, there's a, there's a flow control, right? Flow control is like, um, um, is to accommodate uh, the client, Oh, okay, so the way the way uh, the way Pulsar the client consumes message is not simply by push or pull, right? Is client gives permission to the broker, tells the broker to push. So it's a push based, but it's the client who initiates this this uh, this handshake. Say, you know, I have only that that many permits. I have only that many token. You can think of permits as token, right? So by default. So th this is a, a diagram I, I cut and paste from the from the Apache uh, um, a website. So uh, so initially the client will, will will say you know this is I I only have a thousand permit right so I only have a thousand permit so you can you can you can send me right so then the broker knows okay I can send you a thousand so the broker will send send a thousand messages right actually before the thousand message reaches the the client when it reaches 500 the client will reset right so the client gives enough room to 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 buffer those messages so there's a there's a there's a there's a, there's a quite steps to handshake right just for sending a message and also there's acknowledgement right the client has to act the message not only the client the producer uh, uh, um, there's also the the broker will send receipt to to the uh, to the to the client say I received your message the message has been flushed to the disk right and uh, and now you can send me more messages and uh, the the client side also has a has a queue right by default it's like a thousand messages as a as a producing allowed the the client can produce messages so you, you if you produce fast enough the queue is full you cannot produce right so there's all kinds of the control parameters for that. And there's also service discovery, right? So like the client can connect to the broker, not, not directly through a proxy and, um, and um, all these complexities uh, like forbid, you know, forbid us to write uh, a native client for every, for every language. Um, as I as I explained, right? So the more mature language is C++, uh, Java, um, a Go line is, There, and uh, but examples for Python and Node, they're based on they're they're they're, they're, they're not like uh, a native, a native. Uh, um, they have not natively implemented this handshake, right? Like this workflow, uh, this uh, uh, this flow control, right? This flow control. So it all rely on basic C plus plus implementation, and uh, and at, at the first iteration of uh, Go client was uh, was based on C Go, right? Again, C, integrated with the with the C plus plus client. Um, yeah, I mean, even the current Go client, there's there's some features are missing, like uh, chunking and uh, like. Uh, based uh, messaging system and uh, it uh, uh is not a good at dealing with large payload right large payload means like you know 10 megabytes or 20 megabytes um default is is uh, is uh, is uh, is five five megabytes i, I think 
is even smaller, right? Probably 10. So this is common. This is not a unique, but they're all the messaging system. They are not, you know, because they're built on, based on top of um, TCP and uh, like large message size is not the, uh, is not a TCP's forte. Um, so to answer that, and uh, Pulsar itself has something uh, called a WebSocket. I think WebSocket is a wonderful uh, tool to solve that problem, right? So you, because most language, they uh, on, on a plus operating system, they have some WebSocket library. So WebSocket is, is like, can be language agnostic, can be OS ag agnostic. Um, so there is benefits of WebSocket. So WebSocket is, you know, bi-directional, is a full duplex and, um, and a low overhead, right? Uh, compared to HTTP and, you know, request. Because HTTP, once you establish a, 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 a some search pad, and um, even you have a long pool, right? But uh, but we're going to talk about SSC, uh, some an, um, a server send event uh, on the HTTP streaming. That 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 can be, you know, kind of comparable to uh, to WebSocket. But there are some some minor issues. But I don't think that's 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 a huge because, like the pre twenty eleven browsers, they don't have WebSocket support. Excuse me. Um, I think most browsers they are they are like uh, that's like ten years ago, right? So, so there's a lot of benefit of WebSocket, but um, um, is is the HTTP like a Pulsar Beam the the, the project we're doing to replace WebSocket? Are gonna no? I think what we do is try to provide alternative, right? Okay, so we we talk about producing and consuming um, uh, the benefit of besides WebSocket. There's another way. You know, we can. Um, this what what we do here is is uh, um, con consuming uh, messages over HTTP, right? And the HTTP is even I would say even popular. It's low le le low very low uh, um, learning curve, right? So uh, most of university students, if they you know probably it, it, some somewhere in the in the in, in their study, they will they will they will they will build some. Um, HTTP client or server. So as long as you know how to build HTTP client server, then you know how to consume uh, messages. I think that's why if you look, take a look, like uh, like Google pops up, right? That's that that's HTTP based, right? It's 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 a uh, it's a low uh, lear learning curve, and it's easy for for all the languages. They will have the the, the uh, and, and and the library support right away, right? Um, yeah, there's some other benefits. I, I'm not sure it's, 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 um, I'll, I'll wait and see is that HTTP3, there's a UDP, right? If you want to build a real time, a time critical component, you might use UDP. Um, but again, if Pulsar is TCP, so then, then there's just another thing layer. I don't think that that makes that you can claim your, your application is, is, is real time, right? Um, so in the HTTP, so we talk about there's a few things we're going to support uh, in the Pulsar uh, Beam. One is the long polling. So we enable uh, um, the client. So so first we're going to talk about how, how do we consume a message, right? So we can pull the message. So the long polling is the client will initiate and will inform you know this our server saying, I'm ready to receive message. This is our batch size. This is like I can wait for five minutes. Timeout, right? It will accumulate enough message sent to you, right? So that 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 reduces the uh, the, uh, the 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 uh, the overhead, right? Um, and um, so one example of of, uh, of endpoints, you you you, it's quite comparable to to Pulsar. Is you provide your tenant namespace. The tenant namespace is how uh, does Pulsar organize. Um, um, the topics uh, in, in in the abstract manner also organize the uh, auto provision their their authorization right so authorization is the attendant level and uh, for the token you know you can use default uh, pulsar token and uh, whatever pulsar supports uh, that you know we can authenticate through pulsar and uh, that token can pass it as an http header and um, uh, I think I think that there's some drawback compared to WebSocket. It's it, because it's unidirectional, so it's not there's not really a um, um, ACK can be, you know, uh, like acknowledged message. How do we acknowledge message, right? So uh, the the message is being autom automatically acknowledged by the server. So that's why we can have at least once 
a processing guarantee and then we couldn't have like effective ones, right? So, uh, I think the one of the interesting thing or is uh, in HTTP2, they have this um, server send event. So that allows you to stream the event and um, in a continuous fashion, right? So instead of, so you, you have this connection established and uh, you can continuously receive the uh, the events from the uh, from the server, and so actually the HTTP server is acting as as a proxy. So it it talks to the broker, it speaks to the Pulsar native language to the to the to the broker, and the subscribe topic, receive message, and push, and uh, and uh, flush to the to the client, and content, that process can continuously keep on going. So I think the endpoints is the same, just uh, uh, it's it's um, it's uh, uh, by the W3C, it's a SSC is a, is a get method. You have to specify a particular header. A header is a content type is text slash stream, and the connection is keep alive. So, actually, we're going to do the, do some demos about this. Um, so there's an SSC consideration. So I think the limitation is also is 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 unit directional, and uh, and one thing is it only supports UTF-8. There's no binary data support. So. Uh, while the WebSocket has binary data support. Uh, how, how do we produce message? I think it's, uh, um, uh, you just do HTTP post calls and, um, and uh, will be maintain the same, you know, um, Pulsar uh, topic naming convention to, you, 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 you know, you send to this namespace and, uh, and the tenant tenant namespace, which topic name and the messages in the, in the message body, right? So there's, uh, uh, because uh, um, uh, when you publish, uh, when you publish a message, you can specify the other other properties, right? Met producer ID, all that stuff. So we allow a uh, user to, uh, to, to define this property in the HTTP header. And you all can also want to sync, async, and uh, uh, you can do synchronize the send or async send. Like synchronize send means like we will make sure the message is sent to the broker. Actually, all the way commit to the to the disk and return back to you. Or, or, or asynchronous, you just send a message, and we will just forward the message to to the broker. There's a certain uh, certain uh, durability here involved, right? If you send async versus not versus not async, and also we can do batching. You can send a, 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 a array of messages, a list of messages. Um, so another interesting point is we are going to also support um, the webhook notification. So a type of message um, will push the message to you through a webhook, right? So, um, but to do that, so you uh, the user has to register. Um, a webhook URL, the endpoint, and we once and a, and a um, um, a topic, right? So we will listen. We will create a create a client for this. So basically, the broker is the so the HTTP webhook broker has the client portion of the a consumer portion of of the of the pulse. I will subscribe to this topic once we receive a message and we push to you, um, uh, and. Um, uh, I think the advantage of this is, you know, you can, there's certain, you know, this is, um, becomes bi-directional because um, the client can send status back, right? If you have, if you're too busy for 29, you know, you're too busy, we're going to retry, right? If you have some other codes, we're going to re retry. You can in, even even enable how many retries we, you know, we whatever, we are allowed on the, on the, on the webhook broker side. And, uh, and another, uh, advantage we see that is uh, um, because um, the functions, the servers like Lambda and the GCP functions, they have this HTTP trigger, so we can integrate it with the uh, HTTP trigger, and uh, you can you can have a, a Lambda function receiving the Apache uh, Apache Pulsar messages, and uh, we also support different uh, um, subscription models. I think in the SSC model, in the previous two examples, uh, I think only. Uh, um, the failover cannot be supported because we don't know, right? It's it's uh, we, we don't know whether you know your 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 client is uh, is active or not. So, um, yeah, and, and we have some web interface to uh, to uh, uh, to allow you to administrate the uh, the webhook URL and the topic. 
Yeah, so yeah, I explained this web hop uh, component. So yeah, because we have a database to 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 correlate the uh, to map your the web hop UIL to the to the to the client uh, to the um, uh, to the topic. So the, there needs to be HTTP REST interface, and uh, so there needs to be some database. So we have the backend. Since this is an open source project, so um, you can you can add your own backend, and uh, I even use Pulsar as a, as a way to track to Pulsar another a Pulsar metadata topic to keep to keep track all the all the correlations using as 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 a database. So this is not something new. This is not something um, uh, like totally new because uh, um, like you can use Pulsar topic as a, as a way to store data. Um, so in terms of low balancing, this is a still in progress so uh, so we're thinking of using consistent uh, ring like hashing to uh, balance you know have multiple brokers because the broker because the webhook broker also serves one topic at a time right so it pushes to to uh, to you so yeah so we talk about the pasta beam components so there's a HTTP proxy components there's a um, there's this um, uh, webhook um, component. So everything we have, uh, we have a Helm chart for this. It's uh, it, it, um, it's been deployed um, uh, in in Kesk. So I'll I'll explain this in in, in our demo. Uh, another interesting part is it has a very small uh, Docker image because it's everything is written in Go. So it's like a like a, a, I believe it's um, last time I checked is 40, 40 megabytes. It's a lot smaller than uh, than the Java code. Um, for the proxy itself, is is, is uh, low balanced. You know, if you have a, a low balancer you know, in the in the front, it just you can install multiple of the uh, uh, proxy replicates. It's stateless in in Helm. Okay, let's do demo. So. I'll have to reshare my screen. Okay. Uh, let me know if uh, if you guys can see this. So the first demo is, let's see, is... Uh, I'm gonna send a message. Uh, so I'm gonna publish a few messages. We need to deploy that uh, in the company we founded called Kesk. And um, so the message is being published. Now we subscribe to that. Okay, so I'll push two messages. You can see two messages being being sent. What is, what's interesting, since this shared subscription, I'm going to open another. Another client. So we have two. So we have two. So according to the chat, I explained. So if I have sending another message, let's change the message. Uh, Let's change the, uh, so send zero. Okay, so both are shared. They have the same subscription type, same subscription type here, both are shared. So if I send another message, it should go to the window in the bottom. Yeah, so it goes round robin, I can, up. yeah, so another benefit of subscriptions, if I don't have a, if I don't have a, a client, active client connected, if I'm sending the message, let's send three messages uh, because we have a subscription created. So if I start any of the client here, uh, you will receive the three message I just being sent. Yeah, so three messages. Um, I think that's, that's all, but there's one more demo. 
can show is the WebSocket demo. Oh, the text is pretty small. Okay, let me uh, let me increase the size. You do this again. Hopefully, it's big enough the size. Once again, this is through uh, SSE, so so you have a continuous, although using curl, but you can see is uh, um, the connection stay alive. So I have two on the top window and the bottom window. So I'm sending the message. Uh, Change the message. Uh, so now the message goes to the uh, the client in the bottom, then goes round the robin fashion, the bottom and the top. And if I send, if I close one client, I want to have the client in the bottom. That client will receive all the messages. So, so here's the message ID. So you have the, has the data message ID. So message ID, we map exact message ID from uh, from Pulsar. So you can use the message ID again to track where the, you know, on which uh, on which ledger. But this is a very uh, Pulsar centric um, and concept. Um, one thing I want to show is if uh, if I'm send uh, when there's there's all, all the clients has been uh, disconnected. If I'm sending And if I restart the client, the subscription is going to keep track. Of the message being received will be re. Yeah. So I have I sent six messages. Yeah. Okay. So uh, another demo I want to do is the um, is the WebSocket. So I'm going to use data stacks. Um. So data stacks has a has a, a streaming. Pulsar streaming offering, and you can create a tenant. You can create a, a tenant. Create streaming means create tenant, and then you go 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 to your tenant. Let me refresh it. Okay. Try me. So select a topic. Connect. So this is through uh, a WebSocket. You can open the uh, command how WebSocket has been connected. If I test me, if I'm sending a message to the top, uh, to the will echo back. Yeah, this is through 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 WebSocket. Okay, um, I think uh, I've done the the presentation. So if you have any questions, can uh, can send me a LinkedIn message or. Uh, on my email, I think my email is should be somewhere in the in the speaker's info. All right. You have, you have any questions? You can you can I'll stay I'll I'll stay I'll stick around and if you have any questions, I'll try to answer. Okay, thank you. Hey, yeah, uh, yeah, I can, I can. Uh, um, yeah, I can answer this Josh's question about the, 
how to uh, produce. Oh, so I, I think the link you provide is uh, um, is the administration API, is the admin API. It's not how the message is being, being produced. So Pulsar has, uh, has a set of admin API. Uh, let me share the screen. Yeah, so 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 I believe this is what you refer to, and this is admin API. It's not about the, it's not about data. This is for the control plane. How do you control the the pulsar uh, cluster? Um, so this is the URL we use for sending the uh, um, produce the message. So you have. Uh, the tenant and uh, name, the, the tenant namespace, big name. Um, one thing I have to say is, so we're going to provide that, we're going to offer that uh, pulse admin in our uh, Astra streaming in um, after GA. Um, in a, we do have this on, on, the, on the roadmap, but just, we just don't have a, a concrete date yet. Uh, but in Kesk, um, Kesk, uh, this is provided. So we have a code, code examples. So here, and uh, um, so all the crow command is, uh, is we generated, you know, auto generated curl producer and consumer. All right, okay. Yeah, let me know if you have any, any questions. Okay, thanks. Yeah, I think my time's up. I uh, will talk to you later, bye.